Thank you, Doug. BP's global energy business with enormous reach across the world's energy system. We operate from the deep sea to deserts, from rigs to retail. We find and produce energy resources, refine and market products, and we track, trade, and deliver the world's energy needs in real time. In 2018, our revenues were just under $300 billion. We have 73,000 employees, and we operate in 78 countries worldwide. Beyond our upstream and downstream businesses, we have just under 19,000 retail sites, and we also have a large alternative energy business in wind, solar, and biofuels. The energy industry is going through a remarkable level of transformation, which is happening at a considerable pace. Simply put, it's a dual challenge. The world could need up to 30% more energy by 2040 as a result of increasing prosperity, a decrease in poverty, and an increase in global population. This growth, however, must be balanced with the need to drastically reduce global carbon emissions. At BP, we believe the world is not on a sustainable path. We agree the world needs to move to net zero emissions and we support a rapid transformation to a low carbon future. The potential unleashed by digital, big data, and all advanced technologies is huge, allowing us to rapidly develop new ways to tackle emissions, improve our products, and to create new, new low carbon businesses. In BP, we began, our, we, we began our cloud journey in 2013. And like many others, it started with non-production environments, burst capacity, and we moved all of our internet presence onto AWS. We made our big decisions, really, in 2016. And we sat back and we thought about what are the big strategic things we need to do to enable this. The first one is we declared ourselves a cloud-first company, which meant that we stopped installing all compute and hardware into our on-premise environments. The second thing we did was that we committed to exit from our mega data centers. For us, we have them in three main locations, the US, Europe, and Asia. And then the third thing we did was we created a digital foundations program that sought to modernize our workplace, our networks, underpinned by a cloud transformation. You know, as we moved into the new phase, we did establish our own BP engineering teams, and that's when we selected AWS as a cloud-leading service partner. Supported by AWS professional services and their training programs, we also had to turn to some professional companies to help us. And this is where we decided to work with a company called CloudReach. These guys brought some highly specialized skills that we just didn't have. And they really helped us establish our cloud regions, our technical patterns, ensured we automated everything first from the outset. And critical for our business was ensuring billing transparency for all of our businesses so they paid for what they consumed, something they were never able to do in an on-premise environment. We also made the decision to not lift and shift any applications from our existing, our existing data centers. And what that means is that every application that we've moved has gone through some level of transformation. What that means is at some levels that's quite small and it's just an upgrade of the OS to something more up to date, which is a modern one, or it could have been moving the databases to Aurora, or it could have been to moving to RDS. For some applications, we've really just re-engineered them from the bottom up. BP, again, could never have done this on our own at the scale we wanted to work with, and this is where we've lent on some key application partners for us. Here, Infosys, Wipro, and, SAP have helped, and, and Accenture have helped us with our SAP environments. So maybe using a couple of examples, um, BP has a very complex and big SAP landscape. We have over 65 production landscapes, and we've actually moved 32 of them already to AWS. In each of these cases, we've used the migration to modernize it. So what we've done here is for all of them, we've upgraded the databases from legacy databases to SAP, ASE, or to HANA. Uh, and we've actually upgraded all the other components as well. We recently moved a strategic fuels instance for us, which was 16 terabytes in size. We moved that in less than 60 hours outage from our business teams. The reason we're able to do that is we can call upon the power of AWS during the migration. So during the middle of the migration, we spun up a 123 core compute environment 
that allowed us to ensure that we never came into contact with the business window that we didn't want to break out of. We're seeing, good, we're seeing really good benefits as a result, uh, the most notable being around cost agility, reduced capital, and improved performance. On average, we're seeing our system response times improve by over 30% in the SAP landscape, moving it from on-premise to AWS. A second example relates to our, a refinery optimization software we use. So the first thing I would say is refineries are inc incredibly complex systems. We use an application to optimize these and to make some pretty critical decisions every day. Previously, we ran this on application on premise, and the calculations took in excess of seven hours to complete. We've modernized the application and migrated it to AWS, and the same calculations now complete in less than four minutes. So where are we more generally in our transformation? As you can see, we're making good progress, but we still have a long way to go to complete the ambitions I laid out earlier today. So today, we're pleased to be able to announce that we're going all in with AWS to support the exit from our two European mega data centers. These are the, uh, the largest that we have, the most complex, and AWS will help us migrate over 900 business critical applications as part of this move. Uh, additionally, Today, we announced a renewable power purchase agreement between BP and AWS. This renewable power will be used across a number of AWS data centers, benefiting both BP and many other customers. This further underpins both companies' commitment to supporting a rapid transition to a low-carbon future. So what's next? We're doing a lot with AWS, Beyond, beyond the migrations that I've talked about. We're using Alexa for business in retail operations. We're using AWS Kinesis for video streaming analysis, for emi uh, emissions monitoring, for court operations, and improving our customer experience. We're, we're using the native AWS data services for our downstream alternative energy, trading and functions activities, and much, much more. AWS continues to be a very big part of BP's digital transformation and along with the APN partner community, remains vital to our success. Thank you very much.